There are 14 maps that come with the Call of Duty game. They have Prison Break, which is a deep prison in the jungle. Lots of palm trees and places to hide. Octane, which is in Sin City. You'll see Las Vegas on the outside and a lot of run and gun. Tremor is in the heart of Texas, a side and impact crater. During the game, it'll shake and quiver, a good time to find cover. Freight is in a factory transport depot, a lot of time to cross the tracks to see who's going to be boss. Whiteout, a snow blizzard in a beautiful resort, lots of places for cover in the rocky terrain. Stormfront, weather out the storm, rain and stuff will cover your bullets and you'll have some vertical spaces to create search and rescue matches. Siege is an abandoned industrial island with lots of cover, while Warhawk is an evacuated town ravaged by mortars. Sovereign, a tank assembly plant. There'll be levels to shoot down on people and a lot of motion to capture while you're trying to hide. Overlord is a satellite military outpost. No, that is not the big, biggest satellite dish in the world. That's in Battlefield 4. If you control the center of, the center of this map, you'll have a way better chance. Stonehaven is really an epic map. This one was created after a castle in England. Lots of places to hide, lots of elevation, snipers. This will be your Stonehaven. While Chasm got a lot of vertical gameplay and a lot of debris to hide through. Flooded, there'll be water that, that you will not be able to lie down in areas. It's an aftermath of a destroyed dam. Strike Zone is a cool map. It's a baseball stadium. There's lots of places to hide and some good places to grab a hot dog. And of course, the bonus map, if you bought the game pre-game uh, order, you get a free fall. That's the, that's the map that, you know, you survive a falling skyscraper. So, there's your 14 plus 1, 15 maps that came with Call of Duty Ghosts. Now go get some.